How to load Stable Diffusion Safe Tensors model in Google Colab. Hey guys, welcome to another AI tutorial. So for today, we are going to try loading Safe Tensor model in Stable Diffusion via Google Colab. So without further ado, let's head on to Google Colab. Right, welcome to Google Collaboratory. Let's try to open that one. And then let's click sign in. And then you just have to type your credentials. Okay, once you're here, I want you guys to head on to the link below in order for you to get the model file. And download this one. Okay. Now that we're done, we are going to upload the file. So open it here. And then there you go. Once it's done, the next thing that you are going to do is you can either run it using two of the following models. So you can click number one using model code, or you can click number two, load from Google Drive. So for this one, let's try to uh, click first using model code. So I'm just going to run the cell and then scroll down here in order for me to see the progress of this one. Okay, it seems like we already have the link. We are now running on public URL. So let's try to open this one and let's see if it will work. So as you can see here, it was processing. So let's try to open it. So I guess everything is set. Now let's try to do some simple text to image AI generation. So I'm going to copy here some prompts as well as the negative prompts. Okay, there you go. And then let's scroll down a little bit. I'm going to increase it to six. And then this one, seven, six, eight, because I just feel like that would be a better height. So let's try to generate. So it seems like we were able to generate six amazing pictures. Let's try to check the compilation. So we have the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay. I'm satisfied with these images. I'm going to try to copy image address and then try to see it in a bigger one. All right, there you go, guys. So the next thing that I'm going to try is method number two, which is load from Google Drive. I'm just going to hit this one. And then connect to Google Drive. Okay, file is running. We're just going to wait. Okay, we are now running on public URL. Let's try to open this link. I'm just going to click it. Okay, now that we are here, the next thing that we are going to do is paste some prompts. I'm going to paste it here as well as the negative prompts. And the same thing, I'm going to increase it to about five and then the width is around 700. Okay, so let's stop there. And then we're going to try to generate images. So now we have generated images. So these are from five of the images we have generated. We have this one. Wow, that's amazing. We have the bouquet effect. And then this one as well. Wow. So it seems like we have generated decent images. And that's the second one. That's the second version. That's how you are going to use it simply. So congratulations, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And definitely, I hope you learned. Have a good day, everyone.